Good morning everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I have completed my homework. I had to stitch around the pages that are gonna go into this little journal slash ephemera holder. I also, I just run a line of stitching along the top of the little notebook. Not sure where he'll go yet, but he's ready to go. And then I just went around on the sewing machine and um, did the stitching on this little selection of journal cards and tags. So they're all ready to go. So I'm just gonna pop those little bits of ephemera in a bucket to one side. There's a little tray. So they're there, ready if we need them. Now, what I wanna do next is I wanna get stitched into this little journal cover, all of these pages. So they're pretty much ready to go. I don't think I was gonna do anything else in them. So I'm just gonna line them up a little more and I'm just going to put a couple clips and little paper clips will do just to keep everything in its spot so that I can punch the holes. I did consider doing this little guy Midori style but I'm not going to. I don't think. I don't know. Should I? No. No, I will stitch it in. It's like a, a little itty bitty journal for her. I just put a paper clip on this as well just to hold that flap of the front there so that it's not constantly fighting and flipping around could even make it easier on myself I might even just paper clip I usually use bull clips but I don't have any little ones close at hand they're all bull clipping something to something Okay. That's pretty good. Now, how long, how tall is this to get my centre? Um, nine, so four and a half plus. That's about... Is the middle. Let's just push that through. Now I'm not going to use normal wax linen thread for this. I think I'm going to use some um, stranded cotton because I'd like to add some beads to her journal just to have a little bit of, you know, dingle dangle. So I'll go at two inches down. And then two inches from the bottom. Halfway there. Okay, so my holes are in. Just need to jump up and grab my embroidery cotton and then we can stitch those in. Okay, let's find a pretty colour. Or do we go just neutral? Might do a pretty pink. Yeah, let's do that one. Lovely. Now, a needle. Oh, goodness me. I've had a couple days off, actually. I, um, I was cruising along, getting into these videos, and then I did a little bit of journal for stitchery work, and then I um, was getting ready to get back into these 
journal, this journal, and we had an unexpected guest come down to Brisbane and was looking for a bed for the night. So I sort of just semi-tidied up the room and then um, got busy chatting and hanging out and had a nice dinner and watched a movie and just, you know, just hung out. And the next day I was just exhausted. So I just didn't come back into the room. And I thought, oh, it doesn't matter. I'll have a break. Maybe I just need a break. And um, then the next day I come along and I was still not feeling. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to just stop for a minute and just have a think about this. I want the beads to be up the top. So I need to try something a bit different. I want the beads to be hanging out the top of the journal. So I'm going to try and no, I need to go the inside way. Hang on. Hold the horses. I want the tie to be here so that the beads can hang down from the top. So I'm going to take the needle in here from the outside for change. Then I'm going to come down to the bottom and I'm going to go into the middle. No, that won't work. How am I going to do this? I think I'm going to go up to the top again, down to the middle, and then back up to the top. Will that be secure enough? And I might, I've got plenty of cotton. I might just run it again through. Yeah. Let me just get a bit more string happening here, cotton. Yeah, so the long story short is I had two full days of no craft room. I just, I don't know, I sort of got into this relaxed, chilled out mode and didn't come back in here. I, I couldn't even pick up some needlework that was sitting beside me on the couch. I got real, I got real lazy. But it was sort of good. I, I don't know, maybe I felt... Maybe I needed a bit of a, a break. I don't know. Anyway, even as late as last night, I was thinking, oh, I probably won't film tomorrow. I don't feel like going in there. But thank goodness I woke up with vigor. Now, what am I trying to do? I don't know what I'm trying to do here. I'm just going round and round and round. Just want to make sure that it's nice and strong. And try and get myself back up to that top and if I can get on the other side of that original thread don't ask me how I just did this between in the middle of telling a story yeah I think that'll work Will it? Let's have a look. I'm going to knot it off. Mm, I'll knot it once where we want it. Then I'm actually going to thread that around the spine thread. I don't know if that's the correct term for it, but I need to ensure that it doesn't slide down which it's not because it's all you know nice and tight but yeah that's just catching it up there a little bit better yeah so anyway long story short is i'm back i'm back in the craft room and it feels good there we go with a bit of effort i've managed to go around the spine twice and finish at that top edge the main reason i did that too is this is sliding into a pocket 
so I didn't want beads and knots and things halfway down the journal spine fighting with the inside of the pocket so by getting getting the um, knot to the top it has just sort of ensured that when Edie slides into slides it into the pocket it's just there's a better chance that they're sort of hanging out of the pocket than get caught up so that's pretty good so in the end I started up the top and I went in went straight to the bottom went back in come back up the top went back in come back down to the bottom come straight up and knotted it off and the first tie of the knot I did as per normal but then before I finished that knot I just went back in under all of those threads so that ensured that that knot not only stayed where it was it was caught on the top of all of those threads does that make sense now I'm hoping let's get this journal cover I'm hoping that it'll slide into there and then the beads can dangle accordingly so I'll have to go hunting for some beads now what have we got oh I can see some bear with me guys as I dig my hand into the back here and get this I'm thinking these ones here would be really pretty let's get some of those out that's like real girly girl. You see those? Beautiful. Little lady beads. Now, I'll just get my needle back that I had. And we could even thread a button on or two. That'd be fun. Let's do that. Should have kept my needle out, didn't I? Where are you? There you are. Will that needle go through that bead? Maybe not. So I need maybe this needle. Nope. Okay. All right. Slight technical issue. Let's have a look in my sewing sewing thingy me jiggy and see if we can find a needle that I can use so I sort of need something with a decent eye that that would probably get us out of trouble okay let's see there we go Oh, I know. I've got some shells too that could go. Which I've never used. I wonder if they could be put on the end. Because Edie lives at the beach. So maybe. Where's those shells? There we go. Can we use a shell? Of course we could. that oops to knot off our piece there we go Just put a little dob of glue on those knots, including the one up here, just to sort of help with strength. Now let's do the second bead. Okay. 
and let's maybe reverse what we did there. So we need the green one first. Or the blue. And the pink. Trying very hard not to knock over those beads. They're in like a tower of plastic that all connects together. So I'm trying very hard not to bump it in the yellow. So do we put another shell or do we put a button on? Let's have a look at the buttons. Hold that thought. Oh, let's make it very eclectic and interesting for a little girl. So what have we got in the way of pink buttons that would match? That certainly would match. Prefer a two hole button. Four holes. Two. Maybe we'll put a couple on. See what we got in here. You can stack them, I think. Yeah, that that'll be a bit of fun. So we'd go through the top one, then the next one, then the next one. I haven't done this for ages, and then come back up. Oh, that one's got a checker on it. Now we're going to spin that around. Hold that. Back it up. Stop, stop, stop. That little button has checkers on it. So we might as well take advantage of whoops, seeing that. So we'll try it, try that again. Down, down, and down. Now we're going to come back through them all and make a stack. A stack of buttons. And then we'll knot that off. And that'll come down and sit on top. So let's do another knot. Trim the cotton off. And then we will just put the daub of glue in there just to reinforce that. So we'll put our beads away. Now, glue. How quickly it gets out of control, the mess. Look at that. Before I knew it, everything everywhere. Okay, so I'll put our handy little needle back in there. Till another day. So that needle goes into our toolkit for stitching things into signatures. So we don't need that at the moment. All right. Okay. Let's put the buttons there just in case we need them again. So now we've got our little journal with some little dingle dangles hanging off the side, some beads and bits and pieces, and that will sit in there. Lovely. Now let's have a look at a charm for here. While we're, while we're looking at the front cover, let's finish that little task off. So I'm going to need... A clip. I wonder if I put one of those on. It's a bit late that I've stitched that shut. Hey, I really need that brad in there. Hmm. I wonder, can I be tricky enough and get a brad in? Oh, goodness. Talk about make it hard for myself. Can I spread that fabric enough to be able to manipulate that brad? 
Let's have a go. Hmm. I'm going to need a tiny little hole. I talk about doing things backwards. If I had a thought ahead, I could have had this little brad on this little tab, then stitch the tab into position, but no. It didn't work that way, did it? So we're in. Now, can I split the brad open mm, bear with me you're probably looking at this going what are you doing girl I think I got it I got it I got it I got it there we go oh, gee that was that was lucky now I just spotted in here like a lockety locket sort of thing I don't know where I got these from does that even open yeah I could do that yeah and then we could attach something interesting to it what have we got that's interesting there's nothing in there what else have we got a few bits and pieces in here. A little angel, sort of the wrong colour. The wrong colour. Does it matter? Yes, it does matter. Some old earrings. A tassel. No. What else have we got? It'd be something. What have we got in here? Some random. God, when am I ever going to use that? Goodness me. See, earrings are really good, guys. If you're ever in an op shop and you see little earring clusters, grab them because that taken off is like an instant dangle. If you're so inclined. No, nothing in there. Got to be something. Paper clips. I do have some general charms. A little birdhouse, a little owl. A pair of scissors. I probably need a split ring to make it dangle properly. I better grab one of those out. I'm getting to the bottom of the pile. I do have a butterfly that's very flat. What's in here? Yeah. I've got a few things that would be good, like dragonflies and things like that, but they're in silver. Oh, there's a, a big owl. See a Big mouse in silver, but I think there's some flat butterflies in here. There we go. I wonder if I can attach. See, they're all keys. No, they're no good. I wonder if I can connect. so good and then that to that I 
Okay, there we go. No, it's not spinning right. It wants to hang up in the air. Oh no, that's all right. That's sitting okay. You know what? I don't like it. I feel like I need a silver or something. It's too dark and moody. Let's put that away. I'm going to chase something that's silver. Where's the... I've got the opportunity. I don't really want to use a, a bowl pin because I'd hate for it to come undone and stick a one. You know, jabber. So I might just put... There's a little split ring. Let's get a split ring onto this little clasp. These are like little clasps you put on jewellery. And they're handy to sort of attach to these bulb pins. Oh, I don't know if I can even do this. My husband's good at splitting, splitting rings. I need to take my glasses off so I can see closer. I might have to get hubby to do this. I'm trying to split the ring. Get it in. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Okay, that's a husband job. My nails are very thin and they bend where my husband's nails are quite strong. Well, they're, they're hugely strong. So he can split that open with his fingernails and just feed it in. I can't. I wonder if that little earring dangle could go on. That's a bit cute. Yeah. Some little pearls. Yeah, I like that. That's better. Let's have one more look through. Maybe we look at that little angel now. I've got an angel with a little crystal dangle on the bottom and pearls. Maybe that. So if that went in the ring, let's have one more time. Sorry, guys, I'm fiddling around here. That's what it is. If you hang out with me and my craft room, this is what we do, hey? I'm going to try one more time to split that open because I'm too impatient. I can't wait for hubby. Let's see if I can get that little angel. Onto there. Oops. Oh, goodness. Now I've lost the split ring. Okay, Corinne, quit while you're ahead. But we know what we want to do. We want that attached to that. And then that attached to that, so that becomes a dingle dangle. And then I'll see what we can do with this little one to maybe go with it to create the little piece we're looking for. So that's it. Let's put all of this away now in the cupboard behind me. I'm going to have a mess, guys. You know how it goes. Especially if I want to do something completely different. Okay. So that's what's going to happen there. I'll just put those little goodies in my little tray. So we know what's happening there. All right, let's grab our little journal out. Let's have a look at what we can do inside the journal in the way of decorating. So we need to pop some bits and pieces in the pocket. So what I'm thinking is we might decorate and see what sort of feel we get. And then we'll know what to put in those pockets. So I've got a little 
envelope, part of the new Roxy Creations kit with these new envelopes. So I've stitched just a little feature stitch around all of them. So I think we could probably look at adding one of those to the tuck that's in the front cover. So let's have a little fiddle with that. Fold it all up for a start. That looks good. So we've got a bit of white paper here. Let's just colour that. Now, so that goes there like that and that closes. Mm, I wouldn't say that's a real good fit, but anyway, let's close the envelope up. Maybe... Maybe we have to just put some papers and a journal card or something like that. One envelope. Let's have a little look through. Do we just pin that to a page? What have we got? Could go there. We can put something in it. Yeah, let's just pin that to there for now. We'll have to do some decorated paper clips. We can't just have a plain old paper clip and that would just not be, not be good. So none of those envelopes I think are suitable for, for um, the tucks on our inside. I just want to ink that. Let's fold this one up. How's this supposed to go together? That would make a great little journal cover instead of an envelope. A journal within a journal. If I was to stitch around there, it's like upside down. How's this supposed to go? It could be a long, I don't know, what could we do with this? What's upside down? Can I make this in a or is it meant to be? Just thinking what I'm going to do with that. I don't know. I'm thinking, I sort of feel like it could be a little journal. Like it goes this way. I'm going to leave that for a moment because I think that's got potential to be a little journal, but will it fit in there? Yeah, it will. Okay. Let's do that. Um, what paper do we have here that's handy? Some scrap. And I'm going to uh, my tear roller. Where is that? Because that will fit in there. It's a good height. So I'm going to make just a few little pages in it. Me as I work out the most ergonomical way to to 
to do this without wasting too much paper. Oops. Nothing like little notebooks everywhere for little girls, I think. So if I fold that in half, maybe a fraction bigger like that, we will get a couple pages. And then that will go into there and we just need to trim that back just a little bit. that in just looking at side measurements oh goodness me it's just not get off of there it's getting caught on the ruler stitch around that to make it similar but same similar and same now let's ink that end now I feel like I need something else in the way of paper inside I might be able to get a couple. Another piece out of there. Mm, bandits. I didn't hear where we are. I can hear Bandit woofing in the distance, having a whoopee of a time, as doggies do when they're young. Okay. Let's just tear this one down. Might as well. It's a scrap sitting there. And it can be utilised. Maybe we fold that guy in too. That's probably enough paper. You don't want it to get too bulky. Just some scrappy little bits of paper that she can scribble on. And then we'll just spread them a little bit so they look a little bit more interesting. There we go. I like that. So I haven't got anything pretty in there. It's just very brown. So I wonder if there's a paper a double-sided something that we can tear and put in there. Have to be something. And I might take this one. We'll put a pop of colour in there and it's got the um, oh, 
the same thing on the back. There's plenty of colour. There's some little flowers. So we can utilise those in the booklet. Some For those of you who've been watching me for a while, you'll know about our 20 journals for charity that we're making. And I'm getting some assistance from my best mate and her sisters. I was just thinking the other day, we still have a bit of work to do on them. So I probably need to round up all those girls. And I think if we had a really good solid day at it, maybe day and an evening, we'd have them ready because the um the year is moving along like we are we are um sliding into christmas pretty quick so yeah oh now i can see i'm gonna need to ink that I can see white paper everywhere. I probably didn't tear it down enough, but I think if I ink it, it'll be fine. Yes, so I need to put the message out to the Indians and say, hey, can you just come in and give me a hand? little pop of color have we got the right height no that's okay we can tear off from the top so if i was to tear down it'd just be below that line there A little bit of something to go in there and then maybe we look at putting a tag where are the little ones maybe we look at doing something like that off of it just as a little swing yeah and then another one on the inside just to make it a little bit interactive now the inside of this cover maybe we could do something there as well yeah we'll find something so i do need to run a bit of sewing machine stitching around all these pages just to sort of tie it all together to make this little booklet i'll run another um, sewing machine around there so the cover now I did think we need to do something on the front there to make a pocket sort of felt like it needed a little tuck or something so let's have a look at my pictures left like these random and maybe not this tag but let's maybe put a little pocket will that make it too bulky oh, it is getting a bit bulky isn't it okay we won't do a pocket but we will do some collaging because my script here is looks like it's upside down so let's disguise that and see if we can just do something there that's breaks it up a little bit. What have I got here? Must be something good here we can pick. These are all my little birds. Mm, nothing jumping out at me. Let's have a look through the next little pile of 
goodies. There's just flowers in this one. There might be something. that but it sort of changes the whole feel for the piece doesn't it nope I think maybe we need to look at actual fussy cut flowers none of those little panels will do there's anything else that's in there that I just grab a little bit of scrap paper handy just in case and let's have a look at oh maybe a butterfly nice big butterfly that'd be that'd be very sweet yeah let's do a butterfly guys and if I put maybe a little bit of paper there as well just to sort of tie it all together just not quite right trying very hard to keep myself tidy paper paper crafting can get out of hand real quick can't it like blooming bits everywhere i'm thinking along the lines of seeing that little tulip oh it's just not coming together is it Let's just get this butterfly cut out properly. So I get rid of all that white. We'll put some cotton on for his antennae. So we'll cut them out completely. Sorry little butterfly, don't fret. Maybe that writing is not upside down. Actually, I'm looking. I've just spotted a B, a letter B. So it's not as upside down as I thought. Oh, goodness me. Why is this just not coming together for me? It's better. Now I need a little label or something. You know, sometimes it just falls into place like that. And other times it just seemed to go round and round and round and round. I like that blue label. It's from the fabric swatch kit from uh, Love Junk Journals, Tracy Labels. If you're new to the channel and you're hearing everyone say Tracy Labels, that's what they're talking about. The Etsy store is Love Junk Journals. And this little, these little blue labels are from the fabric swatch. I'm going to hide the little, on the corner of that is like a little piece of fabric. 
I'm going to hide that because I just want that to be all about the flowers and the word blue and yeah, that's cute. Don't need that. Don't need that. Look how tidy I am. Oh, I tell you. Start as you wish to finish. Isn't that the saying? No, it's something else. It's something along those lines. I wonder if we could put a little message to her. Kindness is a language the blind can see and the deaf can hear. Let's, let's do that. Oh, how sweet. Just a little, little message. And then we'll pop the antennae in there as well. Yeah, I like that. Oh, oh goodness me. Okay. Let's see how this comes together now that we've blown it everywhere. I've just got my glue book nearby. Now I need to grab some cotton for the antennae. Hold that thought. And the other thing I haven't done is I haven't sewn around that booklet. Which doesn't really matter. But, so I've just got a little bit of cotton. I'm just going to put some glue on my butterfly. I'm going to catch... cotton under his little nose like so and I'm going to position so we put the words at the bottom yeah I think I will I'm going to change that I might not use that label let's see what this looks like see if we can get those to sit in there and I can sewing so through there that'll look good there we go now we'll just do a little bit of inking around the little butterfly so that it looks like he's blending nicely with everything and then we can just cut his antennae back. We need something to just split the thread. There we go. Let's get that right at his nose. So it does look like he's actually connected to his little nose. And I'll get on the sewing machine when I've finished filming and I will whip around that. So there's our little notebook with a little butterfly. Oh, look, that's picked up that. Oh, goodness. Couldn't have planned that better. So that'll slide into there. So homework will be to run some decorative stitching around that. I'll go ahead and stitch them in so that's you know, stitched into the little booklet and that can sit there like that. Okay. All right, guys. I didn't get a lot done, but um, it's a good start. I might, um, I might get something onto this little thing. Um, what about some little beads? Just a little bead or two. Let's see if we can get them onto this paper clip. Just a little, just a little something. Doesn't have to be anything 
major, but you know, just adds that little interest. Might be gonna go around that corner, nope. So I need to go smaller. I'll have a little look through my and some smaller seed beads. Maybe I've got to go smaller. Yeah, this will work. Oops, maybe. Now I've got glue on my fingers and it's just proving difficult to... I don't think that's going to go through. Oh yeah, it did. Let's put some little purple beads on the paper clip. All little girls like beads. Three little beads. There we go. And that can just go on to there. Some little beads. Okay, simple, easy. Little beads on the end of a paper clip. And they've always got jewelry that are breaking, that is breaking and beads everywhere, so. I think to show her that she can put some beads on paper clips and she can access all that. Like that's common sorts of things. I might just grab a couple journal cards. Have a quick flip through. How are we going for time? We've got a little bit of time. Maybe I can put... One there with another paper clip. We might tie some something at the top there just to sort of have some fibers hanging out the top. Yeah, oh, there's so much we can do. Just can put that there. Anyway, I'm running out of time and I will finish up for today's video and then we'll come back and we'll just keep playing keep meandering through this little journal and see where it leads us. Okay, everyone, I will do my homework and I will be back. All right, bye for now.